morning everybody this is pastor bonnie and in my last video i showed you how to make sculptured modeling paste and i have it left over and i'll put that video in the link so you can see it but i did this using glue cornstarch water the inside of a baby diaper and um acrylic paint so the next video we're going to work on is going to be using these elements to do some textured painting with the um, palette knives which is one of my favorite things to do so this painting today i'm going to be using these colors and i got these from walmart they're like eight dollars and then i discovered this at the at walmart you actually use this to um, draw lines on a cake but I want to do some vine work on my painting that's textured so it's going to be the first time we use it so I'm going to take you with me on the journey to see how it comes out so to start we're just going to put some gobs of color so this one is cool blue this is just going to be our background So I put a little bit of um, parakeet and this one is princess purple. I love purple. It's actually my favorite color and I love to put it with the blue and it shows up in a lot of my designs. So I, this is just a cheap palette knife that I got at Walmart or Hobby Lobby. Um, I like the metal ones too, but this one spreads really well. So now just going to spread this all over and um, this is just a regular acrylic paint sometimes I'll thicken it with um, modeling paste or you know some other other things but I really just want a light texture for this one And there's no rhyme or reason when you do yours you can choose your favorite colors the background's kind of fun because with acrylic paint we're going to put layer upon layer upon layer on it so and to be honest when i do these i don't have any idea myself how they're going to come out or what they're going to look like i kind of just go with it and i've always been that way i'm not i don't measure stuff unless it's a recipe that i have to to bake with but i am um, just really like to play with it and see if it comes out. Some things I like and some things I don't when I get done. And I actually kind of like that one. Right, I'm gonna try to write on it with our little tool. And so you have to pull the plunger out So you can see, and then what I'm going to do is put some paint down in there and see if it'll work. What I did is I'm using this, uh, some, I got this at um, Hobby Lobby. It kind of looks like flour, I mean not flour, but cake frosting. So I put some in and then we're going to use the plunger to push it down. It's probably going to be a mess. Yep, it is. It's like a ridge to get it over. I'll just kind of okay, tell. Guys, I figured out what I did wrong. <laughs> so I was trying to put this big fat end in. No wonder it wasn't working. I dropped it on the carpet, made a mess, had to clean it up. And this works a lot better. So what you do, let's try it on my paper plate just to see if it's going to work. Yep, I'll show you. So what you do, I'm going to make a vine. And I'm sorry, you guys. I'm... I 
it's going to take a little practice, but... That's what I wanted. It's a lot easier to do it that way. So that's kind of what I wanted. It's a good start. But anyways, I'm going to come back in a few minutes. So now I'm going to reload this with a different color. I want to do the light green. I will tell you guys, this is messy. And I um, you have to wash it out really well between each application. But let's see what this one does. So I'm going to try this paint. Oops, it's already leaking at the bottom. This one's a little thinner than the other one. And I can see that you can see it leaked out already on the bottom. So we're going to load it before I try it. Oh, <laughs> goodness. All right. Yeah, you guys, I think that there must have been some water in there. Because it's making a mess. Okay, here we go. So I wanted to do some lighter lines. And I promise it'll look better when I get done with it. But right now, the paintings never look so great when you're in the beginning stages of it, but it's going to be really pretty when we get done. Because this one's kind of watery, I think I'm going to try to fix it and make it look kind of like a fern. But you guys should see I have paint spattered everywhere. So let me, let's try this and see. This is a fan brush. And let's see if it, yeah, that works great. Perfect. Just exactly what I wanted. See, you can turn messes into masterpieces. Just perfect. What I'm going to do though, because what I've learned the hard way, if you um, put too many colors together all at once, they will get muddy and blend, and that's what this is going to do. So what I want to do is just do this part because it's soaking wet, and then what I'm going to do is take it outside and let the let it get some sunshine on it, and then we'll come back and um, I want to use the homemade paste that I did, and we're going to put some pretty flowers. So right now it doesn't look like much. But it's going to be fun when it's dry. So I'll hold it up so you can see it. So we'll let it dry and then we'll come back. You can see it dried enough to work with it. And then before we do the, um, the paste flowers, I'm going to put some colors with the, in, the, in this part in the background. So just using the, the um, fan brush again. I love, this is one of my favorite techniques. It just makes the look like it looks like there's a little bouquet of flowers in the background. And that's just what I wanted. Um, and the fun part with, like I was telling you guys before, when you use acrylic paints, every layer that you add just adds more dimension to it. It's just fun. And like I said, I don't know myself what these are going to look like until I get done with them. I kind of just go with it and then I'm gonna rinse that out and we're gonna use some of the white so I just have my this is my paste that I made and then I wanted to get this done before it dries so we'll see and now I'm just gonna put some white break it up a little bit and it was kind of neat because 
while I was waiting for this to dry, my big shipment of supplies came in. So I was able to get out there and get those taken care of. Always God's perfect timing, you guys. Every little thing in our life, he always works out. So my daughter's up and the grandbabies are up and the puppies are up, so I'm sorry for the noise, but that's the house I live in. Busy and noiful, full of joyful noise. So there, and now we're gonna try, this is the modeling piece that we made in the previous video. So what I'm gonna do, hoping that's not too dry, maybe a little bit dry because it's been sitting here for a little bit, but let's see. I just wanted some really pretty white, I mean blue, blue flowers. It's really pretty, you guys, I like it a lot. It's fun to work with you guys. It's just relaxing. And you and I'll hold it up here so you can see. See how it gives it like a three-dimensional look. I hear happy chatter. My grandson's getting his lunch and him and his mom are talking. They're fun ages. They're he's like three, almost four. And then my little granddaughter's one and a half. So I never thought I'd be having little ones with us, but she had a life circumstance that happened, and so they're with us for a little while, and I am thoroughly enjoying it. So what I'll do, you guys, so you don't have to watch me just put these all on, I'm going to add them and I'll come back and see, you guys, how much I got done with the blue. And then I'm going to take, this is this regular modeling paste that you buy in the store, and I'm going to mix it with the white, because I want to put some white flowers too. So this isn't as thick as what I made, the stuff I made, but it still will let me do what I want. So what we're going to do on these, we're going to put some longer petals. Like they're kind of going in a downward direction. As you can see, I added some petals going down, and I marked some down on the bottom and some little tiny flowers. And then now I want to add some green leaves. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna just scoop this out of the paint jar so you can see what I'm doing. This paint's thick, so I don't need to add anything with it. It's actually old paint that I've had, and we've moved a bunch of times, so it's gotten drier, which kind of gives me the thicker texture like I wanted. <laughs> My little grandson's singing at the table. He's a happy little guy. I'm not the best at this and I know it'll get better with practice, but it's very relaxing. So I just want to encourage you guys, you don't have to have a lot of skills to do it. It's just fun. I'm 
gonna try with a regular paintbrush and just see. So I have little boy noises and puppy noises. <laughs> trying to get this done before I tried to do this before they got out but it didn't work actually I could have to use a knife I'm just going to add the yellow centers to the flowers. I'm just using a paintbrush for that. And the last part I'm going to do is I'm going to water down that purple and pink paint and um, I'm gonna do something I'm gonna spatter it I'd love to do that it kind of just ties it all in but I'm just mixing a little bit of water and then we're just gonna take our finger and flick it I get spatters everywhere on my dresses, on my <laughs> desktop. And then I'm just going to do a tiny bit of the purple. I always like to kind of use the colors that I've, that I've already got. And you can see I'm just watering it down. I think I'm going to go with the darker. And this is how it came out. I really like it. It's pretty with all the textures in it. So then we just um, let it dry and sign my name. And I want to thank you so much. As always, I've enjoyed spending this time with you. I hope it's been relaxing and just a nice diversion from everything that's going on in the world. Remember, God loves you. He's with you. He's going to help you with whatever you have going on in your life. And I just pray that you'll have a great day and God bless.